I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Do your own research. Consult a professional investment advisor before making any investment decisions. This show is for entertainment only. Faites vos propres recherches. Here we are. In another episode. Of the Simple Success Podcast. And this is Financial Life Coaching from a Happiness Perspective. We have done this before, haven't we? Done what kind, sir? This recording thing? Where we get the voices all down and the words all ready? Yes, we have. And in the same way as we get other things ready. Other things? Such as what? Such as minds. Minds? Are we getting ready for more Shakespeare? You perhaps would prefer a lesser influence? No, no, no. That's not at all what I said. That's, That's what, what you said. said. Um, yeah, okay, right. But what Shakespeare said was... All things be ready, if the mind be so. Yes, and I'm sure that he meant to show that when it comes to investing funds, we never worry, no fear of puns. With your focus on your goals, you'll find yourself able to withstand tolls. You must be sure of every decision and know in your head and heart what's the mission. Aye, but don't forget about research. Without it, your plans will only lurch. Gather all data that you can find before investing on any kind. Take your time and don't go too fast. The decisions you make will be ones that last. And when all of the analyzing is done, be sure that your plan has a small bit of fun. You must be willing to change and grow. All things be ready, if the mind be so. And if you follow these simple rules, you'll be on top and not with those fools. Even motley fools among the rest. With a little hard work, you can pass the test. There's a test? I think I'm really getting the hang of this, John. Hang of what, my impetuous underground eagle? Um, I don't know where you come up with those, but what I was saying is the hang of how we do this. How we do what? How we put together this first part with the rhyming and all. It's pretty edutaining, I think. And you would be thinking correctly. Because why? Because, as you know, all things must be ready. No, wait. All things are ready. Yeah, better. But only if the mind be so. Ah, so we must make sure that our minds are so then, right? That's good. Of course it's good. And this really brings it home. Brings what home? The idea that we can be successful simply because we decide to be successful. It's all in your mind. I am not a mind reader. Words work better. But it still requires repetition, doesn't it? It does, of course. And as you know, we emphasize that in Act 3 as we get ready to close out this thing for the week. So by repeating the idea over and over in our minds, we eventually hear the entire thing and know how we can act on the entire idea. Right. Even though that can take a lot of time. So we have to be prepared for that. Yeah, which we should really plan on happening. Since the idea is often shown as being fast. When a lot of times it can take years. As I well know from meditation. So you're going to offer up some examples of getting your mind ready? Indeed, I shall do that in our next act after our first break. Our break? Yes. Yes, I... Oh, boy, I walked into that one this time, didn't I? Walked into that one? Which one? You know which one. Daniel, tell us, please. (laughs) Break number one. Hello, everyone. This is John with the Simple Success Podcast, financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Because we know you want to show us some serious love in return for the tremendous benefits you get from us, please subscribe to us in your favorite podcast player. You can find us on both the App Store and the Play Store because our message is for everyone. Leave a rating for us, or even better, tell a friend. Whichever you choose, thank you so much for helping us do this for you. To leave us a written message, which just might lead to more in a future podcast, go to those same written show notes to find our subreddits. There is also our Facebook group page, Twitter, and other ways which we'll tell you about from time to time. You can also find an Easter egg every so often, so listen closely. Thank you again, and keep those constructive ideas coming.
Hey ho, my doubtingness. Where are you, John? I'm afraid I cannot see you so far back in the past. Yeah, it has been a long time. We even have to remind listeners what it was we were discussing. Yes, but I'm so glad that we had a chance to take a break and come back all refreshed. The examples that are coming, they'll do the reminding. Okay, then. I'll use an already established principle to get me through this. The being kind thing? Yes, the being kind thing. And how will you do that? Quite simple, my dear DT. Just watch. Waiting, I cannot be. Oh, of course not. Now, since I know the coming examples are going to do all the necessary reminding, I will find joy in knowing that I did more than most might do. And remember that I can sit back and plan even better. All things be ready if the mind be so. As you like it. Okay, check that off. Huh? I said check that off. Care to elaborate? Well, sure, since you asked nicely. Go ahead, I'm listening. The first step or example in having the mind be ready is to check off tasks as you complete them. And we just did one. Is that really the first step? I'm gathering from your tone that it's not. At least, not in your opinion. That's correct. What is it, then? You think you can, you think you can. It's thinking that you can. Because that is what Shakespeare meant in that famous line from Henry V. Okay, I'll allow that. Okay, so after believing that you can... After believing, we're back to my first step. Which involves dopamine, right? If you say so. Well, that is why we check off tasks. And it's why we check email, social media, and other things. Okay, yeah, our bodies and brains just love dopamine hits, don't they? That they do, DT. So, what's next? Well, since we're talking about all things being ready... Yeah? Being ready includes what we think we see, what we imagine, what we visualize. Oh, not more about visualization... Not more, it's just part of the big picture. And I suppose the breaking things down, the one bite at a time thing, and that comes into play too? It does. But it also gives us even more opportunities to get ready and to be good. Such as? Such as putting a date, an end date, on the little subtasks that all fit into the big picture. Well, that's how you do it with your podcasts, correct? Yes, indeed it is, which is how I can get them all done and help others do theirs as well. And one other important thing? Right, of course. The pressure comes off putting a date on the big task because putting dates on the little tasks aggregates all together and the big overall task then dates itself. It's easy. It's a hard thing become easy. And that gives you even more time to plan out another route in case something goes wrong. Well, yes. I mean, hopefully you won't need that, but yes. Isn't a lot of this just good general advice? It is, but as I've seen on a fairly popular regional fruit drink, as in life, chill for best results. So even though a lot of these ideas about doing research and breaking things down and visualizing and believing and celebrating, even though they're good for many tasks, that doesn't mean that they're not the best possible thing for an investing plan, right? That's right, DT. And we shouldn't forget to use them in this way. And you haven't even given the best tip yet. Which is probably something to do with breaks, right? It does. It's about scheduling breaks for yourself and clearing your head. But we're not doing that for about another page. He means another minute or so. Thank you for that clarification. Staying organized is a key part of being ready. Pay attention and take the time to understand what is being asked of you. And keep your thoughts and tasks in order. So, for example, when investing... Oh, finally! Yes, finally. Write down what you want to achieve first. Over and over. Write it down. Repeat it. Write it down. Repeat it. And loop it over and over and over. Do this with what you want to achieve so that it is first in your mind. What I want to achieve? 
Yes, same thing as what your goal is. Oh, you mean what I want my end picture to look like. That's exactly right. The picture that you yourself have painted. Only this is an investment painting. Of sorts. It's a painting of how you want your lifestyle to look. And your investing is simply one of those things that helps feed that lifestyle. Because if I know how I want my lifestyle to look, then you can know how much risk you need to take. Which in turn... Which in turn helps you decide if the risk that you have to take is worth the reward that you're going to get. Sounds like you kind of need to go out on a limb, though. You do. You have to be proactive. You mean... I shouldn't wait until the last minute to get started? No, you shouldn't. You should start working on tasks ahead of time. And that way you won't be rushed at the end. And maybe I'll even get everything done on time. And you'll have more than you ever imagined you could have. Are you sure about that? There's at least one thing I can imagine that you probably can't guess. Oh, I probably can guess. In fact, I've been meaning to have a discussion with you about that. But first, break number two. We know a lot about you already, because we know ourselves. For example, we know that you know how to listen to our podcast. And we also know that you probably know how to subscribe. So as soon as you're done with that, tell us your story. We have ways you can contact us. It involves a special link where you can leave us a message. We may have an email address for you as well in the future, and we'll let you know if that happens. The reason for subscribing I thought you'd never ask. When you subscribe, you automatically download all future episodes of that podcast. It just happens in your player without you having to go search again. How cool is that? This means better rankings for the podcast, more attention from advertisers, and more money. And this means more and better stuff for you. So your motivation is simple and easy. Subscribe today, whatever app and from whatever place you like. And don't just try to subscribe. There is no try. There is only do. We're changing the way we look at things. And remember, that's good. Eso es bueno, civil. Also remember, this is financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Coaching happiness. Our call to action is right in the show notes. Find it and you win too. No time like the present. You always say. Yes. And that is an okay thing to say, isn't it? I think so. Well, good, because my lungs have begun to crow like Chanticleer. That fool should be so deep contemplative. And did you laugh sans intermission? Intermission? Why, not at all. We just had a break, remember? Yeah, as if I said something like I've been wanting to invest for a while now, but I'm just too nervous about it. Know what? Instead of saying what you might have said last year... Yes? Our title today, that Shakespeare quote... All things be ready if the mind be so? Yeah, the title of the episode. Go on. Oh, I will, and you'll like this. It's an investing life hack. It is? Yes, it is. It means that if you're mentally prepared and committed to making an investment, everything will fall into place. Isn't that a bit presumptuous? Is what a bit presumptuous? Saying that everything will fall into place. Well, it might seem so, but it's not, and here's why. I can't wait. It's all in your mind. That's good. What would be presumptuous would be guaranteeing a result. And isn't that what you're doing here? Not at all, mon ami. Saying things will fall into place is not the same thing as guaranteeing results. Oh, because things might fall into a place in a way that you just don't yet realize. Yes, that is possible. And if you slow down and put things all into perspective, you'll realize that you have everything that you need. You just have to think so. Yes, it's all about having the right mentality when it comes to investing. So do you mean that if you're confident in your decisions and have a plan of action, then your mind is ready and the rest will follow as long as we are not afraid. That's right. We cannot be concerned about failure. We just need to be prepared for it. And how do we do that? We can do that by not betting the farm, by stepping into things. Similar to the advice that's given for dollar cost averaging, for example. Okay, so let me get this straight. You mean you want to review? Just a little bit. It's repeating. Is that okay? Yes, DT, of course it's okay. In fact, I encourage everybody to review their plan. 
it's repeating as you said. Yeah, just have a plan and not be afraid. Yep, be ready. So all things really can be ready if the mind be so. Yes, and the mind being ready is also understanding what's going on. Things like diversification and not putting all your eggs in one basket. <laughs> Unless you follow that Andrew Carnegie rule of carefully watching that basket. Right, and there's all sorts of advice like that. And it's good advice, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is. But it pales by comparison to understanding our mindsets. Which is another way of talking about your beliefs. And so if you believe that, you're good. And you believe that you have a plan. Yes. And you demonstrate the confidence that you need to have. That you need to have in order to win. Then you can make smart investments that will pay off in the long run. And which will make your future ready as well. Which is how you've all gotten good. Gracias por escuchar. Salut. A la prochaine. This podcast and our other podcast are productions of Little Red Hen Industries. The supporting cast who helps me bake the bread includes Techno King, John C. Brandy, Alter Ego, Doubting Thomas, Fact Checker, A Small Brown Beef Animal, Really Tiny, Facts Are Important But Are Also Easy, Social Manager, Abraham Lincoln, Media Expert, Augustus Caesar, Psychologist, William James, Sound designer, Adobe's creative suite, language consultant, Lea, the French do your own research lady, videographer, Ertaman Koshki, audio props, Les Paul, inspiration, many podcasts and other sources and of course Napoleon Hill. We also have websites and you can subscribe to both podcasts. You can even send us a video, audio or text message, but of course you'll have to head to the show notes either on your phone or on the web, to get the links and stuff. And all those clickable links are in the show notes. And before we forget, the artificial intelligence or AI voices that you hear in our work are offered up by Google, Amazon Polly, and OpenAI like we say in the show notes. They don't sponsor us yet, but we love what they do and we just love what AI can do when lovingly crafted. Finally, you can find us on protmatch.com, matchmaker.fm, Podbooker and podcast guests where we consider guests and consider guesting on other people's shows. And really finally, the music for our pods comes from Cute by Ben Sound and from Piano Background by Nick Simon Adams. As well as from AI MuseNet. The sound effect credits go to Jackson Academy Ashmore, Canusi G, Dr. Jekyll, Joe Payne, Everything Sounds, MK Play More Stories, ERH, Sand Emotions, Big Pickle 51, and Just Kidding. Yes that's his or her name. All on freesound.org. Also, languages are the bomb. Paul.